Hey there, it's Deborah from the attic, and Buster's going to get groomed today. Uh, we've had a game to try and tire him out so he's nice and placid when he gets groomed. And it used to be before COVID and before we were all in various lockdowns, he would go to a professional dog groomer maybe every maybe every four months or so. But since we haven't been able to do that sort of stuff, uh, and especially since I've moved to France, I now do Buster's dog grooming. So <laughs> I haven't told him what's about to happen. He's actually very placid. He's very good. But I don't think it's his favourite, favourite thing. Bust, should we make you look beautiful? Should we make you look beautiful, Bust? You ready? Come on then. This is my technique. I put Buster's uh, little mat thing on a table and then I get some blunt ended scissors and hope that he will let me just have a go really. So um, I'll show you the results once I've clipped him because I don't have enough hands to show you while I am grooming him. Uh, and it's probably a good idea because if any of you know better than me what you're doing when you clip a dog, you may well be horrified. What a handsome boy, Bust. You're a handsome boy. I can see your eyes now. I haven't taken too much off him. It's just enough to keep his muzzle clean and uh, keep his eyes clear so you can see where he's going. He's got a little sore on the front of his paw there. And that was caused about three months ago when a thorn just tore a little bit of his skin and he over -grooms, so he doesn't let it heal. It, it's actually, it looks like a real serious injury, but he's just a bit of a princess and it makes it look even worse. But you're a handsome boy, aren't you, Bust? You're a handsome boy. You ready to come down? Okay. Okay, we'll get you down. Until we meet again then, stay safe and take care.